Paul said he went for two years in Arabia to study Christ again. He said he did not ask for flesh and blood to tell him anything about Christ because he was not there when Christ was on earth. And so when he was called, he took vacation for two years. Two whole years he was not preaching. He was not going to any church. He was searching this Jesus. And that is why he could say in Colossians 1, Christ in me, the hope of glory. He said, I confide not in flesh and blood. When it comes to knowing Jesus, you, will not, you don't need flesh and blood to tell you what I'm saying. <laughs> oh God. I confide not in flesh and blood. He went on a research. He went on a finding. And he boldly came out and said, Now know we no man after the flesh. Meaning I don't know any Christ after the flesh. Although he came in the flesh, I don't know him again after the flesh. And now know him as Christ in me. Jesus said to me, I am not a Christ of history. <laughs> if you are saying Jesus of the Bible, you are talking about God is not a Christ of history, nor is there any Christ in outward appearance. He's not a Christ in history. He's a Christ that lives. He still lives through you, in you, and you are he. Paul said, I don't want to confide in anybody again. Let me go and know this Christ. And he found him in him. You are looking for Jesus in many churches. You look for him through one, this pastor. This pastor said this. This prophet said this. This apostle said this. <laughs> you have not found him. If you are still knowing the Christ I'm talking about, me, the old Christ David is speaking about, you've not found him. If you still know the Christ, Peter spoke or the history Christ. This Bible is an history. It's a divine history. If that is still the Christ you know, you've not found him. Until you find the Christ in you. And you know, he said, that Christ in you is the hope heaven have. It's the hope God have. Until you find it, God is still handicapped in our generation everyone wants to see manifestations promises fulfillment miracles revival anyone you see or read about that they call general of faith apostle of faith did all this only found the christ in them and they started revealing it to their generation through them through them and this is the maturity of the faith that you find Christ in you. Not the Christ I preach. Not the Christ any apostle preach. Or the Christ prophet preach. Or the Christ that you read in the Bible. The one in you. And we are not safe <laughs> until we find him. You know what? If you go to China, China or the Asian nation, they, they are more religious even than Africa. So anybody that's saying religion has finished Africa, they are confused. They are speaking out of ignorance. Now, the reason why Asian nations are more religious is because in every house and family, they have a God that they can see. A father can have his own God, a mother can have his own. Everybody have their own God in their house. And if you go to China Mall or some of these malls there, you see this their statue is always in their in their in their working place. Yes, because it's the plan of God that in the last day, when he has poured out his spirit, everybody should be able to have their God. That is Christ in you that I'm talking about. I'm not saying the... You hear what I'm saying? That is what is driving them to mold that thing. They are saying God is not far from us. That's what they are trying. They are looking for that God that is not far. So the only way they could interpret it is to mold something for themselves that they are worshipping that they consult and they put it in their shop in their room in their houses and you you are still looking for the one in the sky he said i will be their god they shall be my people i will be their god their god means in them they will know me i will know them i will live through them they will live through me
until we go back to the source then he will begin to do creative miracle trust you will be here we'll be making prayers and things will be happening in different places because you have touched the source you have touched the source you see if you don't touch the source even if i'm carrying the electric i'm touching you we can't get it right if i found the christ in me you have found the christ in you if i agree with you to pray we touch things that concerns you that are far you become also a conductor like me can you boldly tell me that you know your god not our god now my god i know my god because the time will come they will ask you was your god that you serve continually able to save you your god your god your god that is what the catholic were trying to do that's why they brought rosary they carried their jesus <laughs> but this jesus said we should he has become us believe me all this thing you see human doing making god that they can see making cross all this thing is because we are trying to find john 14 19 a little while longer and the world will see me no more the same thing he told you and the word he said a little while longer the world will see me no more but you will see me because i live because i live not that i died and left <laughs> you are looking for the one that died and is sitting in the throne of heaven that is the first one you are looking for christ is not history he lives all other god are history because i live you live meaning you are me i'm you i see god doing great work through you oh god i don't know who i'm talking to you will not see any jesus walking in the street healing the eyes of the blind raising the dead making cripple walk making the poor to be rich you will not see anyone like that again the only jesus you will see is the one that true you if you don't find this jesus there's nothing that happened in your life that you give him glory for until you find him that is in you i want to do true you that's when even for you to even lift up your one leg and put it here is it true him i i move through him, I have my being. Through him. Through him. Even the slightest thing that happened in your life, you will give him glory for it. If you have not known this, how will you give him glory for a greater work? Because I live, you also live. I'm the one living through you. I have my existence through you. He said, even if you know or you don't know, I'm the one that lived through you. In Isaiah, I said, I formed light and created darkness. So meaning, even if you are still confused in darkness, it's him that is still living through you in darkness. It's not another person, it's still him. I formed light and created darkness. So it's not another, it's not devil, it's him. Isaiah 45, 7. I form light and create darkness. I form light and create darkness. I form light and create darkness. Even if you are living in darkness, it's him that still creates. It's true. It's still him that is still living in you. You, oh God, hallelujah. Do you see, do you see a house that there is, uh, there's city power, there's still light. Light is available. Huh? But let's say they didn't buy electricity. There's darkness in your house. It's not, it's not that there's no light you are the one that created that darkness do you see he said darkness is created you are that god it is christ also in you that is creating that darkness you can decide to form the light i'm praying for you you are connect connecting back to your source and through you every of your heart desire there will be creative miracles in the name of Jesus.
light will shine out of darkness in the name of jesus depending calling expecting the historic christ or reading about him not knowing that you are the one not me not me who is christ not me 